what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so all my band of brothers peoples i know you guys have been waiting for this i told you guys when i finished the series that i usually take a week break from that series if i'm going to do a continuation at the end of seasons i do that too for any show that i'm watching i usually take a week break from the show and then start the other week so we finished brand of brothers i think last week or the week before i don't remember exactly but the pacific is here today so from what i know it's the same people that did band of brothers did the pacific with eps such as tom hanks okay uh, tom hanks son was in the i think it was the last couple of episodes of band of brothers so that's pretty cool that was pretty cool um i did not know that this kid uh, even though he looks like tom hanks i never thought it would have been his son i really didn't know that so um so yeah man as much as i enjoyed the band of brothers i'm hoping that i do the same with the pacific um i'm all for war stories man i love movies about um war that kind of showcase a specific event or something that happened during say a world war ii or world war one because it's interesting to see these reenactment on the big screen because you know it's big budget they try to do their best as the best that they can do with the accounts from people who were there so um i know that this is like i know the marines they were on the front lines of world war ii they were on the they were on the front lines they hit normandy from the beach you know what i'm saying from the beach and it was it was horrible every time i see like a reenactment of it or something like that i'm like this is really what the soldiers went through man like literally under artillery machine gun fire everything on that beach just trying to get into the trenches where the freaking germans were at, at, at and stuff like that was just ridiculous but anyways um band of brothers were about the paratrooper the airborne division man this one is about the marines so let's go check it out and see what this is all about and you if you guys are here for the first time um the way how we do it over here i do full reactions but i do not post them on youtube i post them on two sources which is you can watch it on the google drive or you can watch it on bitshoot there's a little bit less quality on bitshoot but you can still watch the two parts over there for the episode okay um so i see you guys over there and i see you guys for the review so we take a, a quick pause and then when you go and watch the episode you come back here for me i do a review of that specific episode so let's go do that and i will see you guys after for the review all right what's going on guys season well mini series the pacific i don't know why i have vikings up or why this thing switched to vikings background right now i didn't even notice when i came back over here let me switch it so we can get in pacific mode yes there we go anyways the pacific episode one man great start to the series kind of seeing the them kind of introducing certain characters certain divisions and kind of explaining what the story is going to be about because i was confused because if you guys listen to my intro i had a totally different idea of what this was going to be about i thought it was going to follow the marines that actually was on the front line of um their attack when they uh, um when they went to normandy right but it's not that it the pacific is basically the pacific islands um that they went to to confront the japanese after they attacked pearl arbor blah 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 this all is all kind of happening simultaneously um so um so um so yeah great things great things for this episode um so let me comment on the very the technical aspects of it that i loved um the the cinematography looks like it's gonna be awesome the the weapons look authentic look like they really did a great job on the costume design and, and stuff like that it looks like this was a you know they they really went for off authentic stuff when it comes on to um to this show so for band of brothers they did a good job so i expect no less mind you i mean we got 
one of the greatest producers of all time, directors of all time, Steven Spielberg doing the show. So, I mean, it's, you would imagine that it would be, it have to be on that level. It has to be high up there. So it's great, man. I'll, you know, I'm hopeful that in the future, in the future that HBO will do a lot more of stuff like this. Um, they've been doing so well. I think the last one they did was Chernobyl and Chernobyl was off the chain. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I hope they keep doing mini series like this in the future. Of course, um, if there are any more mini series on HBO that you guys would love for me to watch, please leave it down in the comment section and let me know if that's something you want to watch. I'm pretty sure it's, it's not just Band of Brothers, P the Pacific and Chernobyl that they've done. They've probably done other mini series that are based on true stories and stuff like that. So please let me know. Anyways, so this episode kind of brought us through them arriving to Japan. They got attacked. Um, the, 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 the first casualty of the, of, of this confrontation is actually by friendly fire. Would you know that, <laughs> you know, so it, it's, you know, it, it's just crazy, but any, but in any case, it still went, uh, you know, them, they lost people during that attack on the beach or whatever, not, not the beach across from the river. Um, Japanese were trying to flank them. They didn't quite get there <laughs> you know they always mowed down but it was really sad how they were kind of playing with the dude um that is very wrong actually that's something that is not advised when it comes on to um war and stuff like that like you cannot like if if you were in a war you cannot do stuff like that you get what i'm saying like what they were doing to that japanese where they were like toying with him and stuff like that you shouldn't do that either capture the enemy or Put him out of their misery you get what i'm saying like you that's the option torture is never an option and that's a small form of torture but it is you get what i'm saying and i i plainly heard him say kill me in japanese i heard that um and that was the, the um the japanese word um for kill is koros and i know that because <laughs> they say it so much in anime you can't miss it <laughs> you know so um, so yeah, uh, definitely enjoyed this first episode, man. The, the, um, the OSTs, the soundtracks that they're using it, it it's, I don't, I don't want to comment really on the sound, the sound design in this yet, because it is, it's really not like the, the gun sound off gun sound sounds really good. Um, but when it comes on to like the overall music and stuff that plays, you know, it's very heartwarming. It's war sounds. It's stuff you, you expect to hear when you're watching something off a war movie. You want to hear those those snare drums in the background and stuff like that. You get what I'm saying? So, you you know, stuff that represent military stuff, <laughs> you know. So, I'm definitely looking forward for more um, of that. Uh, videography, great, man. Great videography. The angles were awesome during the, the, the gunfight was it, it was tough it was tough and i know that they probably have to shoot that scene more than once no way they did that one time because it was it was also great to look at the angles that they were taking to to kind of show the bank where they were on and it was shot in the dark too so props to them man props to them because at one point i, I didn't even i couldn't even see what they were shooting at because it, it was like it was pitch black <laughs> you know what i'm saying um so just for them to even do that is is great that they didn't light it up in a way where you can actually like kind of see what's going on sometimes you got to go for that authentic take never do what game of thrones game of thrones did in season eight don't do that for, for that night fight that they had where you couldn't see nothing at all you know what i'm saying at that in a show like that where there's so much special effects being used it was not appropriate. You get what I'm saying? I could see some of it. Even if even when you watch it in 1080p, you could see some stuff, but you still can't see what you really wanted to see was, was really what was happening at all. It was too dark. Everything was just way too dark. And it was, you know, you want to see um, something like the dragons flying through the air. You want to see that. You know, the, you know what I'm saying? They should have had some sort of um, artificial lighting, um, where you can actually see what's going on, but you still know that it's night. They can do that. They've done it plenty of times in Hollywood. Come on, come on, 
You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyways, um, the Pacific is great, man. Episode one. Can't wait for part two, for episode two, I mean. Um, so I'll see you guys then. That's all I have to say for now. I'm um, looking forward to seeing more of these guys going against what what were the challenges because I still don't see um the challenges um one of the fact was the navy the navy left they thought it was the navy destroying the japanese when in actuality it was the fact that um the navy was getting bombed they had to dip so <laughs> pretty much i might be wrong on that i might be wrong on that you guys can correct me in the comment section of course cuz i'm pretty sure that's what the guy said guys cuz when they went out there cuz i i don't know if the navy was supposed to pick them up or something or they were supposed to see them out there but they i don't know if they ran or whatever the situation is but i'm pretty sure that's what he, the guy said like they picked up who was here and left i think that's what they said so uh, uh they they didn't necessarily wait on them or something like that because they thought they thought the navy was winning um but they said like four of the ships went down so um so I, again you guys can comment in the comment section if i missed anything or if i'm if i don't remember it right because i'm doing this directly after the episode so a lot of times i might not remember the exact details of something that happened earlier in the episode but you guys can correct me of course there's nothing wrong with that uh, i'm not going to catch on everything and the, the amount of stuff that i have on my mind these days a lot of, a lot of times i get mixed up with details when it comes down to watching these shows so um um, it doesn't happen often, but it does happen, <laughs> you know, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, leave a comment, leave a like if you're ready to watch this with me, man. I'm ready for another journey on these war stories, man. Let's do it. And I will see you guys later, man. Remember to subscribe if you're new too. let's go. See you guys next time.